is being described as a horrific situation. About 150 rabbits were removed from a home in Muskegon, and they're now at an animal shelter. All new at 7 o'clock, Whitney Burney is getting answers about what's going on in that home and what's next for those animals. This is the Muskegon home where those animals had to be removed today. You can still see there are animal crates out front, and if you walk a little bit closer, you can see garbage and debris left behind. Neighbors tell us they were completely blindsided by what was going on behind closed doors. In this quiet neighborhood on Catherine Avenue, animal rescue personnel say they got the shock of a lifetime. More than 150 rabbits left in a home after the tenants were evicted. These are images sent to our newsroom by one of the volunteers who helped remove the rabbits. You can see bunnies and trash at every corner of the home. Just totally shocked. Never, never dreamed it was happening right there. So. Neighbor William Anderson says the couple who lived there were in the home for a few years, but mostly kept to themselves. I don't know what they started doing. I guess ra raising bunnies, I guess. I don't know. Here you go. The rabbits are now overwhelming local shelter pound buddies, where they say now they have just as many dogs as they do rabbits. They're a little shooken up, but they're, they're not totally scared of people. Volunteers say most of them are healthy, but some of them have ears that appear to be chewed off. When you get too many, they'll start gnawing and chewing and whatever. Stan Polica says he owns a few rabbits and decided he would adopt more when he heard what happened. We have rabbits, so we thought, well, we could help out, take some. We reached out to area law enforcement about pending charges, but all say they're not investigating. We also reached out to the homeowners listed for comment, but were not able to reach them. Volunteers at the shelter say they're grateful for the help they've received so far. It's just been awesome, too, the way the community has come out and people that are coming in to volunteer and other rescue organizations that are helping to rehome them too. It's awesome. Many of the bunnies have already been adopted, but the shelter still needs help. For ways that you can pitch in, head to woodtv.com. Reporting in Muskegon, Whitney Burney, 24 Hour News 8.